Do you want to be in the top 250 in ranked in Modern Warfare 2 or just be a better player overall? Then this video is for you. This is going to tell you exactly how to do your best in ranked. I'm going to tell you all the tips, tricks, secrets, and the weapon loadouts that Call of Duty pros use. So first off, nothing I tell you in this video will matter if you don't understand how to play a role on your team. There's only three roles that we really need to talk about. The Assaulter, the Rusher, and the Support Player. The first role we're going to talk about is the Rusher. If you're the Rusher on your team, then you need to be pushing the enemy no matter what is happening. If your team controls the objective, you're pushing the enemy to help lighten the load on the objective itself. You're trying to get kills before the enemy can even get to the objective. If the enemy team holds the objective, you're trying to get in their face. You're trying to make them have a terrible time for holding that objective. You can get as many kills as you want, but you're trying to push them off the objective. Your entire goal is to push the enemy no matter what. And with this class, you really need to be running the SMG and a knife, something with high mobility so you can push up on the enemy as fast as possible. The other role that really is important for a lot of Call of Duty players, and is how most Call of Duty players should be playing, is the Assaulter. The Assaulter means you are pushing the objective constantly, but you're not pushing into the enemy's spawn like a rusher. Your goal is to get on the objective and hold the objective. If the enemy has the objective, you're trying to sit on the edge of the objective and get some picks so your team can push in very quickly and overtake the objective. Now both of these roles don't work well without a support player. Your support player is the person who doesn't get on the objective and is caring about controlling the point. This person usually sits back a little bit of the ways with an assault rifle or a sniper rifle and gets kills on the objective. They're trying to pick off enemies in the objective so your team can push up, or they're trying to defend the objective once your team controls it. They usually sit in a good spot where they can get a wide range of view and pick off enemies who kind of run from behind or trying to flank you. If you don't know what your role is, then this is a quick and easy guide to help you. If you are a player who likes to get kills, then you are the rusher on your team. You are trying to get in the enemy's face and get as many kills as possible. If you're somebody who cares about winning and you want to get the objective, then you are the assaulter. If you're somebody who doesn't care necessarily about getting kills, but you want to make sure that the team wins and you don't care what position you are, as long as the team wins, that's the support player. Someone who sits back and gets the kills and support the team as needed. You need to know your role on the team and communicate with your team. Tell them what's going on. Tell them what you're trying to play as. Tell them how you're trying to support the team, whether it be rushing and getting kills, sitting on the objective, or playing support and just helping out wherever you're needed. As long as you communicate with your teammates, that will help you out infinitely better than anything else I tell you in this video. Next, I'm going to talk about the best weapons that you can use in Modern Warfare 2 Ranked. I'm going to rank these weapons from worst to best. So we're going to start off with the LACPB 300. It's a sniper rifle that is really great for your support players or people who are trying to get kills and defend the objective. Especially with a lot of these maps in Modern Warfare 2 Ranked having long sight ranges, this is perfect. So with the attachments for this gun that you need to use are the ZLR T70 pad extension the 300 high velocity ammo, the aim assist 406 comb, and the FSS ST87 bolt. This is going to make the gun fast aim down sights, give it good range and good velocity in the bullet so you can hit the enemy as soon as they're moving across the map. And this is one of the best sniper rifles in the game, but it's not the highest ranked sniper rifle in the list. The fourth best weapon that you can use in Modern Warfare 2 ranked is the MCPR 300. And the five attachments that you need to use on this weapon are as follows. The 300 high velocity ammo, so we can get fast bullet velocity and get some quick kills. The five round mag for better mobility and better movement around the map. The Cronin Cheetah Grip, the FSS Merc Stock, and the Cronin Smooth Bolt. This is going to give you the best sniper rifle possible for Modern Warfare 2 ranked and help you dominate if you are a support player using a sniper rifle. Although I personally prefer my support players to be using assault rifles because it gives them the ability to push up if needed and play as an assaulter. This brings me up to the third best weapon, the SMG that a lot of people are going to use, but it's not the best SMG in the game. It's the Lockman Sub. This one only has four attachments, but these four attachments are the only ones that you need. You need the Bruin Pendulum Muzzle, the Agent Underbarrel Grip, the Lockman TCG Rear Grip, and the FT Mobile Stock. This is a really well-balanced SMG, but like most SMGs, it suffers at range, so this is really good for your rushers who are trying to push up and get in people's faces. The second best weapon, and by far the best assault rifle that you will ever use in Modern Warfare 2 ranked, is the TAC-56. The TAC-56 is a completely dominant assault rifle that most Call of Duty pros are losing, and this is the exact loadout that they're using. They're using the 17.5 Tundra Pro Barrel, the Komodo Heavy Muzzle, the Phase 3 Underbarrel Grip, and the Demo Clean Shot Rear Grip, along with the TV X-Line Pro Stock for faster aim down sights. This is going to maximize your range and maximize your aim down sight speed, so you can pick off enemies if you are an assault player or a support player and not lose gunfights because you can't get down sights fast enough. The best weapon in Modern Warfare 2, beyond a doubt, the GOAT gun, has to be the Vaznev 9K. It's a gun that's literally so well designed and so overpowered that Call of Duty pros are calling it the God Gun for Modern Warfare 2. But here are the five attachments that you need to use if you're going to use the Vaznev 9K. 
the SA Response 3 barrel, the Lockshot KT85 muzzle, the Phase 3 underbarrel grip, the TrueTac rear grip, and the Autrezac stock. This gun is a complete monster and it's a gun that I highly recommend everyone uses if you're playing Rusher or Assault. This is the gun to use and it's the gun that you'll see a lot of people that you play against using in the game because it is so overpowered. And one thing you can do to help yourself out get kills in Modern Warfare 2 is use your grenades. Stuns are great in Modern Warfare 2 ranked because it slows down the enemy and on top of that it slows down their mobility. Which means if you're a rusher, you can use a stun to quickly push up on an enemy and kill them before they have time to turn around and shoot you. The stuns are great for anyone though, if you're an assaulter it gives you an opportunity to throw it at an enemy and pick them off before they can run to cover. However, on the other side of this, we have your lethal grenades. You have two options, the frag grenade or the semtex, and to be completely honest with you, the frag grenade is not worth it in Modern Warfare 2 ranked. The fuse is too long and it gives the opportunity to the enemy to throw it back at you if you throw it too quickly. The semtex is the only lethal grenade that you should be using in Modern Warfare 2. The quick fuse and high explosive radius give it an opportunity to completely demolish enemies before they know what happened. I've already told you how to play your roles on the team and the best weapons, but there are a bunch of tips and tricks that you need to know so you can dominate Modern Warfare 2 rank that the Call of Duty pros don't necessarily talk about. The very first tip I have is go prone, hit the deck. When you watch a Call of Duty pro, if they're reloading, they immediately go prone because it's going to minimize your chance of getting shot as you're a smaller target on the ground. On top of that, if they get stunned or they're on the objective and they're trying to look at a great wide area to cover, they go prone. The smaller target is great for this type of stuff because it gives you an opportunity to quickly avoid enemies and then hop right back up and kill them as soon as you see them. Going prone is going to quickly increase your KD ratio because it makes you a smaller target and gives you the opportunity to pick off enemies before they realize where you went. However, there's something else that Call of Duty pros do that a lot of people don't recognize. They move laterally to objectives and to enemies. They don't turn and run left to right when they're trying to get around the enemy. They keep facing the enemy, but they keep moving in that left to right direction. They either sidestep or they side hop. Side hopping is something I definitely recommend in Modern Warfare 2. The best way to do it is to take a couple steps and then hop so you can build up your momentum and you get a greater area of coverage. Most players you face in Call of Duty will expect you to move in a straight line from left to right or laterally. When you move left to right in a straight line, the enemy is going to just rip it to the right to kill you. When you move in an arc, the enemy is going to have to try harder to get their shots on you as you're moving in an unusual pattern, which will give you a chance to kill the enemy while you're in mid jump. Something I highly recommend, but don't confuse this for B hopping. B hopping is when you spam the jump button. That's something that's going to get you killed in Modern Warfare 2. Take a couple of steps and then jump. Build up your momentum before you actually hop across a doorway. But if you have to push up into cover, you have to push up and try to get on an objective, then I recommend you dive. Diving is something that a lot of Call of Duty pros use to actually move further or get behind cover quickly. I highly recommend diving into cover on an objective. When you dive into cover, you get into the prone position and on top of that, you're already in cover, which means the enemy won't be able to shoot you. You won't be able to use your gun until you hit the ground when diving. So make sure that you're diving into cover or diving through an obstacle or over an obstacle. What you see a lot of Call of Duty pros do is they like to actually dive over obstacles or through windows because mantling these things or breaking the glass actually takes a longer. And in a game mode where you're ranked and you're competing on the highest level, every single second counts. Maximizing your speed and your mobility matters. So diving over small ledges and small obstacles or diving through glass and windows is going to be something that's going to help you get faster movement speeds and help you get to the objective first, which in game modes like Search and Destroy or Control really matter. As you get there a couple seconds before the enemy, you'll get a better chance to get set up and quickly get some kills as the enemy rushes onto the point. I highly recommend trying to maximize your mobility with these tips I just gave you, moving laterally, diving, and going prone on objectives to cover them. However, every once in a while, you really do need to slow down your movement. You need to go into a crouch stance. When you crouch in Modern Warfare 2, your footsteps are almost an inaudible level. If you're crouched and you're walking on one side of a wall and the enemy's on the other, they won't be able to hear you at all. It gives you a great chance to get some really good stealth, and it gives you an opportunity to quickly push up and sneak around the objective, go for ninja defuses, or to pick off the last couple enemies in a game of control or hardpoint. Crouching and going stealthy is something a lot of Call of Duty players don't actually think about. Most Call of Duty players want to push up to the objective and rush as fast as possible. Sometimes you do need to slow down and go stealthy. I highly recommend stealth in game modes like Search and Destroy or Control. When it comes to these game modes, if your teammates all go push to one site and you're the lone person at the other site and you move stealthily, the enemy won't be expecting you there. It'll allow you to get some quick captures on Control or be able to actually get a plant in Search and Destroy. And this brings me to the most important point in the video. At the end of the day, you need to be pushing the point and pushing the objective, not playing for kills. In ranked, what matters is winning the game, not being the person with the most kills. In Call of Duty games, there's been entire teams who have won games with half the kills of the opposing team, 
and beat them on scores of 250 to 20. Don't play for kills. Even the rusher is playing the objective. They're trying to keep people off the objective, but if they need to, they can come back to the objective to help cover. What matters is you play the objective, use the best weapons, know your role, and play as best you can, and have fun. If you get stressed about playing Modern Warfare 2 ranked, then take a break. When you stress out, your movements actually slow down by at least 15%, which is something that's going to make you worse in ranked. Take a break if you start getting stressed. At the end of the day, just have fun. But if you're somebody who wants to know a little bit more about kind of the story, the narrative of Modern Warfare 2, check out this video I made on Alex right here, where the actual actor, Chad Michael Collins, who plays Alex in Modern Warfare 2019 and in Modern Warfare 2, actually was in the comment section on the video. So check out that video here. And until next time, I am Iceberg's your Call of Duty informant. Stay frosty.